The C-SPAN networks bring you long-form public affairs programming from the nation's capital and are a public service of your television provider. C-SPAN, created by cable. And, and we know who Donald is. For five years, he has led the birther movement to delegitimize our first black president. His campaign was founded on this outrageous lie. There is no erasing it in history. Just yesterday, Trump again refused to say with his own words that the president was born in the United States. Now, Donald's advisors had the temerity to say he's doing the country a service by pushing these lies. No, he isn't. He is feeding into the worst impulses, the bigotry and bias that lurks in our country. Barack Obama was born in America, plain and simple, and Donald Trump owes him and the American people an apology. So my friends, there is no new Donald Trump. There never will be. <laughs> Donald Trump looks at President Obama after eight years as our president. He still doesn't see him as an American. Think of how dangerous that is. Imagine a person in the Oval Office who traffics in conspiracy theories and refuses to let them go, no matter what the facts are. Imagine someone who distorts the truth to fit a very narrow view of the world. Imagine a president who sees someone who doesn't look like him and doesn't agree with him and thinks, that person must not be a real American. <laughs> Donald Trump is unfit to be president of the United States. cannot become insensitive to what he says and what he stirs up. We can't just accept this. We've got to stand up to it. If we don't, it won't stop. In addition to the president, Donald Trump looks at a distinguished federal judge born in Indiana, and he sees a Mexican, not an American. He looks at a gold star family and sees them as Muslims, not patriotic Americans. He looks at women and decides how our looks rate on a scale of one to 10. I look at America, I see everyone. I see our great diversity, which is one of our core strengths, not our burden. We know who Donald Trump is. Now it's time for our country to show who we are and reject his divisive vision. That's why this election is so important. Donald Trump is now finally acknowledging that yes, there were born in America. I, 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 Jonathan, have no reaction, and I'm shocked that. Uh, a question like that would come up at a time when we got so many other things to do. Well, I'm not that shocked, that uh, it, It's fairly typical. Uh, we got other business to attend to. Um, I was pretty confident about where I was born. Uh, I think most people were as well. Uh, and my hope would be that uh, the presidential elect, uh, election reflects more serious issues than that. All right. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Now, not to mention her in the same breath, but Hillary Clinton and her campaign of 2008 started the birther controversy. I finished it. I finished it. You know what I mean. President 
Barack Obama was born in the United States, period. Now we all want to get back to making America strong and great again. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.